In this video, I will explain natural frequency and vibration modes. Again, the exactly same cantilever beam problem as before was modeled with the abacus. However, to increase the aspect ratio of the beam, the height and width is are reduced from 1 to 0.1. Basically, we are considering very slenderness beam. We used exactly the same material property as before. 70 gigapascal for modulus, 0.3 for Poisson ratio, and 2,700 kilogram per cubic meter for density. Our final goal is to calculate the natural frequency and move from Abacus FEA and compare them with the analytical solution. The analytical solution for the cantilever beam can be obtained as shown in this table. Basically, the frequency in the Hertz unit is a constant value times square root of EI over ML. That is uh, like a square root uh, K over M proportional to stiffness and inversely proportional to weight. Here I is the area moment of inertia M is rho times A, that is mass per unit length. The mode is expressed as the sum of the sine, and hypersine, cosine, hypercosine decombinations, just like an uh, unusual eigenvalue problem. Okay. Now, using an article equation, let's simply calculate the first three natural frequencies and then plot their mode shape graph. Then they will look like this. First of all, the frequencies are first value, that is the first mode shape, 0.82, the second value will be 5.15 and the third one is 14.43 let's do the vibration mode shape uh, as we might expect if n increased to number max or mean mode shape increased as n minus 1 also, at the left end of the beam, we can see that the cantilever beam boundary conditions are always satisfied. Now, let's see how to implement these values and mode shape using Abacus. Basically, all Abacus analysis methods will be exactly the same as general static analysis, except for one thing. At the step procedure type, uh, just select linear perturbation instead of general option. And then select frequency. That's all. Okay, let's look at the abacus model without further explanation. 